In this screencast, uh, we'll start a discussion of girdle numbers. The name is due to Kurt Girdle, 1906-1978, uh, uh, an Austrian logician math and mathematician and philosopher of science and mathematics. And um, uh, we'll start with the notion of a uh, pairing function. Uh, so um, a pairing function is essentially a, a, a mapping device uh, that allows us to uh, take uh, a, a sequence of uh, numbers and uh, map it uh, into a, a single number, uh, a sequence of two, right? So a, a, a tuple of numbers, if you will. So uh, here, let, let me uh, spell it out. A pairing function is a function that maps pairs of uh, natural numbers um, uh, into uh, single natural numbers. So um, formally speaking, it uh, uh, goes from the Cartesian product of uh, n with itself uh, into uh, n. So, and here's what the um, pairing function allows us to do. So, for example, let's say we have some pairing function, uh, pf, that maps uh, two mm, uh, natural numbers into one. And then we can uh, map uh, sequences of uh, natural numbers. So let's say we have a sequence of uh, x1, x2, and x3, uh, three natural numbers, and we can apply uh, our pairing function to two natural numbers, and then uh, apply it to the output of uh, the first application and x3. So, so thus the sequence of three numbers uh, is mapped into one. So uh, formally speaking, this is a formal definition of a pairing function of x and y given in the third chapter of uh, Computability, Complexity, and Languages by uh, Davis, Waker, and uh, Segal. So uh, uh, the pair of x and y is defined to be uh, uh, 2 to the x uh, times 2y plus 1 dot minus mm, 1. And uh, recall that uh, the dot minus uh, does not allow us to go negative. Uh, so um, it is equal to zero uh, if uh, x is uh, less than y, otherwise it is just a standard x uh, minus y. Uh, but um, uh, two to the x uh, uh, times two y plus one is guaranteed to be at least one because x and y, the smallest, and since they're natural numbers, they can be zero. So, um, all right, so x, um, uh, the pair of x uh, and y plus 1 uh, is equal to 2 uh, to the x, 2y plus 1. We just rewrote the above uh, equa uh, equation by adding 1 to both sides. So uh, let's say that we have a, a natural number z. Um, then uh, there is a unique uh, solution. There is a unique uh, pair of uh, x and y, uh, unique uh, solution for uh, x and y. such that um, um, the pair of x and y is equal to z. So let's solve for x and y. So the pair of x and y is equal to z. So by definition, uh, the pair of uh, x and y uh, equals Uh, 2 to the x um, uh, times 2y plus 1 dot minus 1. And this is all equal to z. So uh, the pair of x and y uh, plus 1 equals 2 to the x uh, times 2y plus 1. And x is defined uh, to be the maximum um, natural number such that um, 2 to the d, right, or 2 to the x, we could say, um, right, where d is the value of x, uh, divides uh, z plus 1. So it's the largest 
let's spell it out. Uh, x is the largest uh, natural natural number such that x divides uh, two to the x rather uh, divides uh, z plus one. Okay, so once we have uh, uh, x the value of x then we can solve for y uh, uniquely actually um, so 2y plus uh, 1 is uh, uh, over uh, 2 to the x um, 2y plus 1 equals uh, z plus 1 over uh, uh, 2 to the x so hence um, uh, y is equal to z plus 1 uh, over 2 to the x minus 1 divided by 2. So let's go over a couple of examples. So let's take uh, z to be uh, 0. So we're looking for uh, a pair of uh, x and y such that um, it is equal to 0, right? z is 0. Um, now, we are looking for uh, 2 to the x, uh, the largest value of x such that 2 to the x mm, divides z plus 1 or divides 1, so that means x is equal to 1, uh, uh, sorry, 0, right? Um, uh, and um, uh, now we solve for y, uh, z plus 1 um, over 2 to the x minus 1, uh, over 2, it's 1 uh, over 2 to the 0, minus 1 over 2, so 1 minus 1 over 2 gives us 0. So uh, the solution is 0, uh, the pair of 0 and 0 is map, uh, maps to 0, okay, which is, this is x and this is y, uh, which, is, uh, which is natural and uh, mm, uh, somewhat expected. Now let's take z to be, uh, to be 1. So we're looking for the value of the maximum uh, value of x such that 2 to the x um, divides uh, 1 plus 1. So this is makes uh, x equal 1. Uh, now let's solve for y. Uh, 1 plus 1 over 2 to the uh, first uh, minus 1 divided by 2. That gives us um, uh, 1 minus 1 over 2. That's 0. So, um, so the pair is um, x is equal to um, 1 and y is equal to 0, so that maps to 1. So we can quickly check. So um, by definition, the pair of 1 and 0 is equal to 2 to the first uh, times 2 times um, 0 plus 1 dot minus 1. And that gives us 1. Okay, which is z. And then finally, uh, let's uh, take a more complicated example, well, somewhat more complicated example. Um, so let's say z uh, is equal to uh, 21, and we're looking for the unique uh, x and y such that the pair of x and y is equal to 21, so we're looking for uh, the maximum value of x such that 2 to the x divides uh, 22, z plus 1, uh, so that's uh, x uh, is 1. And um, y uh, is equal to uh, 21 plus 1 over uh, 2 to the first minus 1 divided by 2. And that gives us um, the value of 11 minus 1 divided by 2, a um, value of 5. Okay, so let's check uh, the pair of um, 1 and 5. x is 1, y uh, is 5. By definition, is 2 to the first. 2 to the first times 2 times 5 uh, plus 1 dot minus 1. Uh, that gives us uh, 2 times 11 dot minus uh, 1, so 22 minus uh, dot minus 1, so that gives us 21. Okay, we'll continue with this.